Julia Spencer is a real estate investor with over 25 years experience who owns multiple investment properties. She's a single mother of two who moved to the U.S. in 1993 with only $20 in her pocket. She currently holds an MBA. Julia Spencer is neither a realtor nor an attorney, and the contents of this recording are only her opinions. Get her free guide to investing at juliamspencer.com. I'm your host, Dr. Steve G. Jones, multimillionaire and hypnotherapist. My website is stevegjones.com. Make more money with tax sale investing. Module 15, Lean Priorities with Julia M. Spencer. Hello, this is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. Thank you so much for purchasing my second ebook on how to make more money with tax sale foreclosure investing. In this module, I want to talk a little bit about lien priorities or just liens in general. Um, This particular module came to be specifically because I had a lot of questions from subscribers. There's a a couple questions I get all the time over and over again, and I've answered them in some of my videos on YouTube. But also I wanted to make a module about this to talk a little bit more extensively about this topic because it's a It's a big topic of concern, especially if you get into foreclosure investing, what kinds of things do you need to watch out for in terms of other liens that are on the properties and what kinds of um, watch outs you definitely need to be aware of. There's a lot of people and a lot of organizations and government um, offices that can put liens on a real estate property. And if you're just buying a tax lien, Are you still responsible to pay all those other liens? Which lien goes first? What kinds of things you need to watch out for? In this particular module, I'm going to answer all of those questions so that there's no doubt in your mind whatsoever what you're buying, when you're buying a tax sale foreclosure property, and what things you will be responsible for and which things you're not going to be responsible for. And I'm also going to tell you a couple of examples, some of the things that I have done and have discovered over the course of my investing career so that you can be a little bit more aware of the specific examples that I um, refer to and some of the things that um, are basically the real world of real estate investing. So I guess I want to start first with basically what um, kinds of liens there actually are. And I'm going to jump right into the question that everybody always asks me first is, how about the mortgage? Um, A lot of people don't want to go into this type of investing tax, sale foreclosure investing, because they're afraid that, hey, yeah, I'm going to buy this property for $1,500 or $2,000, and now all of a sudden I'm stuck with this huge mortgage, which is still on this property. Am I going to be responsible for that? What happens to it? Um, I get this question over and over and over again, and I have repeated myself, but I'm going to definitely answer this question here right now. If you are in a normal state, and not all states are the same in the United States, obviously, and there are a couple of exceptions, but in general, a mortgage doesn't... For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.